Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles and back to the Sudoku Tudes set of puzzles, which are puzzles mostly created by myself, Bremster, but with some input from Maggie as well. Um, and this is Regulus, which was an irregular Sudoku. Um, this one Maggie did have a little bit of input into, um, but only a little bit with a suggestion of some of the regions, and then I had to put the work into making the puzzle work. Um, we often just talk about puzzle ideas, and then um, I will come home and play with puzzles for a bit. So we're not too fussed about um, credit, to be honest. She actually doesn't want her name put on many of the puzzles at all, but when she puts a lot of input in, I tend to make sure that she gets the credit she deserves. Um, anyway, let's have a, uh, there'll be a link below to where you can solve this puzzle. Let's have a look at the rules. So normal irregular Sudoku rules apply. So we have to put the digits one to nine into each row, into each column, and to each of the marked irregular regions without repeat. So all of the regions in this puzzle will have nine cells in them. The regions are separated by the thicker borders, and each of those must contain the digits one to nine without repeats. So apart from that, it's like normal Sudoku, except you don't have the normal three by three boxes. The shapes of the three by three boxes have been changed. So they're the rules of the puzzle. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So I'm going to use this region here to call out one of the most co um, common concepts in irregular Sudoku, which is if we were to look at row one, we know that row one contains all of the digits from one to nine. So those four digits in row one have to go somewhere in this region, which also contains the digits one to nine. So those four digits have to go somewhere in this region, but they can't go into those cells. So they have to go into those four cells. So we know, for example, that the one and the nine in this region can't go in those cells that they have to go here. And often you could do that overlapping with different regions as well. So we can't put the nine here because of that nine. Um, similarly, the five in this column can't repeat in this region. So it'll have to be in one of those two cells. Basically those four cells, the digits that go in those four cells have to go into those four cells. Um, but we're going to just try and do some other Sudoku first. So for example, two can't go in any of those two cells in that region. Two can't go in any of those two cells. Two can't go in any of those two cells. And this becomes a two. Um, and now, I, well, I could have told almost immediately two had to go in one of those um, because the two couldn't go here or here because of the two already in the row in the column. So I knew two wasn't in any of those, but now I've got it confirmed. Um, I'm not sure where the best Sudoku to look for here is, but, well, I could actually, nines are pretty good too, because nine can't go in any of those in this, this, uh, middle top region and nine can't go in any of those. Nine is in one of those two, but this nine is looking up saying not there. This is a nine. Okay. Nine in this region is quite, actually nine in this region is also placed because this nine is knocking nine out of there. This nine is knocking nine out of there. But the fact that nine in this region has to be in one of those two cells is knocking nine out of there. And this becomes a nine. So now I want to ask, where is nine in this row? Yeah, where is nine in this row? So if I mark all of the cells in this row, this could be a little tricky to see. It can't be here because of that nine and it can't be here because of the same nine. That's in the same column and that's in the same region. It can't be the seven or the three. Can't be here because it's in the same region and column as that nine. It can't be in those two because that nine shares a region with them. And it can't be here because that nine looks down and sees it. So this becomes a nine. So I suspect I'm wanting to look at nines. How many nines do I I have now. I don't have a nine in this region. I don't have a nine in this region. So nine in this region can't be in either of those two, can't be in either of those, can't be there. That becomes the nine, which places that as the nine, and I'm done with nines. That's cool. Okay. What digit is next? Now, twos were quite powerful, but I don't think I can go... Seven is quite powerful. In this region, seven can't be in either of those, either of those or there, and those are already filled. So seven is in one of those two. Hmm. Ah, this is a one. This one is looking up saying one can't be there, and the two ones that have to be in there are saying ones aren't there. This is a one. 
So now one in this region up here has to be in one of those two because that one is eliminating those and this one is eliminating that. So one is in one of those two. So one in this row, one can't be here, one can't be here because of the one here. One can't be in either of those two. That puts one in one of those two, which means the one in this region can't be there. Because if the one was here, I couldn't put a one in this row. So one can't go here because of that one. One can't go here because of those ones. One is in one of those three in that row. Hmm. Okay, there's possibly, this thing here is called law of leftovers, and I can't remember what law of leftovers there was. I think those two, yeah, these two cells are incredibly important. And I'll show you a more complex law of leftovers. We know that this is three columns of the Sudoku. So that's going to contain one to nine, three times. But this is a region of the Sudoku, and this is a region of the Sudoku. So we can remove those and say that is now the digits one to nine. But we know that this is the digits one to nine. So if we toggle this region and turn off those and those on, we know that these two digits are these two digits. So we know that one of those has to be a five and whatever digit that is. So this can't be a one because I can't put a one here or here because of these two ones. So if this was a one, I'd have to put a one in one of those two and I'd have broken the puzzle. So this is the one, this is not the one, and that is cool. Now, five goes in one of those two, but I'm not sure which. So with one there, where can I put one in this column? I can't put one in any of those and I can't put one there. This is the one. So what are these four digits? One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. There's no four there. There's no eight there. It actually didn't help me that much, did it? Hmm. So this is from four, five, six, eight and it can't be a four or a five. So this is a six or an eight. So because this is now only five, six, eight, I can't put four in any of those. These are only from five, six, eight. So four is in one of those. I am a little out of practice with irregular. I'm thinking I should make a set of irregular puzzles of different difficulties. I think that should be something I do. to uh, get better at them. Four in this column. Yeah, four in this column. I can't put four in any of those because there's a four in the region. Can't put four in any of those. There's a four in the region. So four is in one of those two. And the four in this region? Well, it can't be here because the four in this region has to be in one of those and it can't be there. So the four in this region is in one of those two. It's not quite helping me enough. Seven in this row. I'm going to recolor this. I'm going to use gray. Where is seven in this row? I can't put seven here because if I put seven here, I couldn't put seven in this region at all. So seven is not in any of those three. So it does mean seven is in one of those two and it can't be at the top. So this is actually a seven. Seven can't be in any of those three because of the seven already in the region. Seven can't be in those two because of the seven already in the region, and this becomes a seven. Okay. Two and three, what can these be? 
What has well? These are from one five six. Uh, sorry, these are from five. These are also from five six eight because those two digits have to be those two digits as well because the one and the nine are already placed and those two digits are those two digits and this can't be an eight so that's a five or a six and that can't be an eight so these two digits are a five and a six because those two digits are those two digits from the thing I talked about earlier so there's no eight in either of those those are a five and a six that becomes the eight that becomes the four. I like that. And this now has to be a six because it can't be an eight because neither of those could be an eight. That's really cool. I know I'm praising my own puzzles, but um, when I come back at a puzzle after a period of time, I, I, I'm often surprised at what I manage to pull off. And if you're a puzzle creator, I imagine other puzzle creators do the same. Okay, so can I resolve these fives and sixes? Not obviously yet. So this is a five or a six, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a five or a six. That gives me a five, six pair in the row. So four up here is not in any of those. It has to be in one of those two because there's already a four in this region. Eight up here has to be in one of those two because I can't put it over here. So eight is in one of those two. There has to be a three in one of those and it can't be there. So three is in one of those two. Actually, let's mark this quadruple. That feels like it could be powerful because it's three, five, six, and eight. So this is only three or eight because it can't be five, six. So this is three, five, six, because it can't be eight. And these are three, five, six, eight. That one can't be eight. Hmm. Five, six, though. Oh, this is good. I can't put five, six in any of those cells or those. This is a five, six pair. Looking down saying that isn't a five, six, because where do I put five, six in this region? These are already filled and I can't put five or six in there. So this is five, six. So this is three, eight. This is three, eight. There's no, yeah, there's no three there. There's no three there, which means this is the three taking the pencil mark place of a four. I think I could color a lot of these five, sixes now but I'm not sure that I need to. We'll see how we go. Actually, I think I just want to. This is um, one version of 5.6. This is the other version. This is back to yellow. This is back to blue. Looking down, making this the yellow. This is the blue. So this is the yellow. So any cell that sees both yellow and blue, not getting it yet. I still need to put yellow in here. Mm. Still need to put blue in here. No, that's not it. Maybe that didn't help. It looks like it didn't help. In here, I need to put two, three, four, and eight. So these are only from two, three, four, because the eight is over here. So these are from two, three, four. There's no two here. There's no three here. And these don't have four. So these are from two, three, eight. And there's no two here. I may not be solving it well, but I'm having fun. So I need to put... Uh, what are these three digits? I know what these three digits are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these are two, four, and eight. And there's no two there. But if those are two, four, eight, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are three and seven, and I can't put a seven there. That's a three. That's a seven. Does that do much? Well, it makes this a quadruple, which is two, three, four, and eight as well. So this is only two, three, because it can't be four or eight. This is two, four, eight because it can't be a three, and this can't be a three. Uh, this, this is two or eight, because it can't be three or four. Doesn't seem to have helped as much as I might have liked. Hmm. 
This was rated as easy. I think I've missed a step, such as where is one in this region? That one knocks it out of all of those, the one in the bottom row. So this is a one, which means this isn't a one and this is a one. So this row is missing three, five, and six. So this is three or five, and this is five or six. So this is the yellow five, six because of the three, and this becomes a three, making that an eight. This isn't three, eight, this is two, so four and three. The four looks down saying that's not the four. So this is now the yellow five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the yellow five, six. So this is the blue five, six. This is the yellow five, six. This is, ah, uh, and that means yellow is five because it sees that and blue is six and I can get rid of all the coloring. Great. I'm having fun. So what's missing in this column? It seems to have a lot in it. I'm missing two, six, and eight. And this can't be an eight. So this is two or six. So this is two, six, or eight. So this is six or eight. Hmm, okay. No, this column. Let's look at this column. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a seven. So what are these? I need to put a three in here, which is in one of those two. Four is in one of those two. Can't, I've got five. I need to put a six in here, which could be in any of them. Seven, I need to put an eight in here, which is down in one of those two, which means that's the six, which means that's the two, that's the eight, that's the four, that's the two. This is now a triple. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are three, four, and eight. Now I can possibly do some eliminations. That's the eight, that's the three, that's the four. And in this box, I haven't put a seven. So I do know what those two are. Well, the four looks across saying that's not the four, that's the four, that's the eight. And these three and six, and the three is looking down, making that the three and that the six. Cool. The eight is looking back, making that the two, which makes that the three, that the eight, that the four. These two digits, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the five makes that the six and that the five. So in this box, I haven't put one, two, and eight. There's no two in either of those. So that's the two. The eight looks across, making that the one and that the eight, meaning that's not the one, that's the one. And in this, uh, I don't know what's easier to scan in an irregular. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. That's a six. And that is the solution to Regulus. Um, I haven't looked at this puzzle in quite a while um, and I really enjoyed it. I really liked how I was able to get a nice irregular pattern, which Maggie helped me make. And then I was able to do it with one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, and um, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, and two nines. I thought that worked really well as a number pattern as well. And it still turned out to be a nice, easy, irregular, not like simple, simple, but it had a nice flow to it, I thought. I really was happy with this one. I hope you enjoyed the puzzle. I hope you enjoy the rest of the Sudoku Tude series. And I might look at making an irregular set um, similar to the outside set that we did a few months ago. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoy the pack uh, or enjoy the set. And as always, good luck with your solving. <laughs>